We have a couple guys here today to explain how they built their complex, awesome blog <laughs> project. So, what's the project called? Uh, it's called Oxite. You did a lot of stuff. Like, this is a full blog, functionality wise, as far as. Yeah, so it has everything from you know the actual admin piece to post uh, new posts to the RSS and Atom feeds to sitemap for search engine op optimization and okay. all that stuff. Yep. All right. So in, but something very special about this is it's written in the new framework MVC. So where this came from is we we uh, were approached by the Mix Online team to build uh, the new site. They were going to do the design and all the content for the site and. We thought, hey, this is pretty specific on what they wanted. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't quite fit into what we had already built. So we decided to check out MVC because uh, it was, was, seemed really good and we wanted to try it out. And, and it was super awesome. Uh, it let us build this cool engine that, had, uh, that followed standards really well so you can control everything about how your markup comes out. Okay. Uh, and then so we. So then we launched the Mix online site and decided that, hey, this is super cool. We should extract it into something that everybody can use. So okay. That's where Oxide came from. So we should actually mention who we is and what code you've written before. We, we skipped yes. that part. So, so who are you? I'm Eric Porter, and I'm a dev on the Channel 9 team. Okay. And I'm Nathan Husky. I'm a new dev on the Channel 9 team. Okay. Yeah. New. New. -ish. All right. Newish. Okay, yeah. so you guys have already the Channel Nine code base, and mm -hmm. this is completely different. Uh, yes <laughs> and no. Uh, it's we started from scratch, um, okay. redesigned kind of to to make sure that we had it really solid on what a database should be for many blogs, a single blog, that sort of thing. So we started from scratch um, and built it up, but we we did pull in a lot of code from okay. Channel Nine. So. So for anybody that's still wondering why we haven't released the code for Channel 9, it's because this we've actually pulled a bunch of it out, and this is okay. partially Channel 9. So, And this is what you get. OK. So this so. is the default skin? Yeah, this is the default All skin. Right. Um, and we'll get into like how you can mess with that. Um, and we just have one post in there as an example. It okay. even tells you what the admin and the admin password are, <laughs> because you're going to want to change those immediately. So you, you can see we just have one post. and. Click on it as usual. You get the actual permalink. Um, this is how you, down below, you create new comments. Uh -huh. So on this default one, I can put in my name. So these are anonymous comments. Yeah, this is anonymous. And yep. you're using Gravatar for the. Yep. So you notice damage. when I. Oh yeah, instantly. That's yeah. Pretty cool. So it goes and looks it up. Uh, if you have one, it'll show up. Otherwise, you'll get the default. Okay. Uh, little advertising. <laughs> and the Since you blog so much. I, I do. <laughs> I used to. Really? You're filling up my RSS reader. I know. It's crazy. OK. Oh, and it caught me because I hadn't actually typed in a comment. So you have validation. So I, Thank I do. you for showing this that. Is, yeah. Nice. Yep. Since we hit remember me, it had it all in there. If you want to put in a dif different email address later, you can. Otherwise, you just leave it blank, and you'll keep going okay. as you did before. OK. So now you'll notice I can do some cool things like moderate comments. This little guy right here, you can remove a comment. If okay. one got through that you didn't like, just remove it. So one got through. Is there like some type of moderation there? Or? Uh, we don't have any built in. Uh, okay. But we do have events in the model. So you can tap into when a comment's being added oh, okay. and then call out to a kismet or whatever you want and, then, right. say, and then cancel it. So see if, if I go back into the admin on the home page, I can say create page called test. I can specify where I want it to go under, either the root of the oh. site or okay. in this case I'll put under the about page. Tags aren't really necessary unless you want to. Uh, and then this just goes right, works right into the URL right, routing. Yes. Right. Okay. Yep. So I'll hit save and then it, this will actually move us nicely into the code. I'll actually go into the code and set a, a link uh, in our menu to that new page. Okay. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, I, I like the clean look, but what if I'm going to change yeah. the look? So we can definitely do that. So this is sort of reminiscent of classic ASP in that you right. have code inside of your view, but since you're not actually putting any business logic here, you can keep it fairly simple. 
Uh -huh. um, so. Right, it allows for much more dynamic layout yeah. and stuff if you can yeah. use C sharp. And, and yeah. that's part of it too, you're not using VB script or right. whatever we yeah. use in ASP. I <laughs> yep. don't remember yep. now. I remember those Blocked days. it out. We've yep. created our own uh, HTML uh, like helper extension methods. methods. Okay, yeah. extension HTML methods. helper extension methods. Yep. Oh. Yeah, so like here's, yeah, so the HTML, that's something that comes with it, and it's just this collection of, of extension methods, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we have one like unordered list, so you can just pass it an I enumerable of T, uh -huh. uh, so of anything that you can enumerate over, and then just give it what you want to print out for each one. Oh, and cool. It will do it, so it's all strongly typed in there, and it's, it's pretty cool. It's nice to use. We also have, I don't know if you see the localized call there, but we have, um, localization built in. We haven't, oh. we haven't, there's a lot of pieces that we built in the base that we haven't fully used everywhere yet. Okay. We wanted to build the base really strong so that then other developers could go out and build stuff on top of it. Thanks for stopping by and showing it. Um, I guess we have to remember it's at visitmix.com yep. and codeplex.com slash oxite, O-X-I-T-E, right? Yep. And you can even, we're going to set up a redirect of oxite.net. Oh, so that website will, net. That will take you to the even visit shorter to say. Page. Okay, yep. we'll say that next time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I hope that uh, you guys come on again and show me the update. Sure. Because uh, I think I'm going to go try this at home now. Sounds so. good. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. <laughs>